people who depend on public transit, keeping the buses running right now is a lifeline. But bus drivers and riders in Colorado Springs are telling us that some people are abusing recent changes by Mountain Metro and they're not following social distancing recommendations. News 5's Colette Bordelon t tells us that suspending bus fares has caused a spike in the number of riders on some routes. On Thursday of this week, Mountain Metro asked everyone to start using the rear doors to get on buses, and they even stopped accepting money to ride. All of that to try and limit the amount of contact their drivers have with riders. But since then, the number of people getting on buses has grown, and it's making one man who needs to use them every day for work concerned for his health. Luke Baker found himself walking home from work on Saturday. Walked the, the two hours and kind of upset. Instead of his normal routine. Taking a bus. There were more people on that bus than I've ever seen before because word had gotten out that it's a free fare. Baker says it was standing room only and he's concerned for the drivers. Because it is a, a huge public health risk. We have a lot of, of immune compromised and older drivers who this could really hurt. Megan Willis is a bus driver for Mountain Metro. There are definitely people who do just ride just to get to their friend's house or something. But people should only be using the buses for essential travel. We had seen a reduction of two thirds in our ridership on, on our fixed route buses. Craig Blewett is the director of Mountain Metro and says from last Saturday to this Saturday, ridership went up by more than 35%. For the past two weeks, we've asked that drivers report to us anytime their bus is more than half full with passengers. The largest labor union representing transit workers in North America says they've been pushing for several standards. Provide the personal protective equipment that the operators need to keep themselves safe. Mountain Metro says they've ordered masks and have stepped up their cleaning process. Mountain Metro says they're looking at ways to try and curb the number of riders, but that it would be too early to say exactly what those could be. They also say they're doing their best to try and figure all of this out in unprecedented times. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Colette Bordelon, News 5.